Come on, sneeze. <laughs> Come on, sneeze. <laughs> You're so mad. talked about taking her to a show for Halter, right? Yes, we took her to, we went to Midsummer. How'd that go? Uh, she got third out of three in Halter, and we did in hand trail too, which about halfway through she forgot how to do pole, which was interesting. Um, but she did really well in both of them. I was really happy with her. Um, she's way spookier in trail than she normally is. Normally she likes bridges and stuff, but she was like, ah! Well, hasn't been in a lot of work. You can't lunge her a lot. No. And yeah, as new soon place. as she did the halter where she like moved around a little more, she finally like actually settled and then we were like, well, you're going home today. <laughs> yeah. But she did really well. She's just not, so the other two horses in her halter class were just like absolutely not the same type as she is. Yeah. So. Come on, girl. She's like, I'm out of shape. I don't want to move. Just don't give me drugs and then tell me to go faster. Okay, let's go the other way one more time. Mm -hmm. much time with you getting you would like to calm down on the lunge line before you got hurt. Oh, easy. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Good girl, Sneed. Coming up to the month of 
not doing that much. Yeah. There you go, Lisa. And this might actually be a really good time to change her angles a little bit while she's just going to be hanging. Yeah. Just going to put this here. Hi y'all, so I am almost home. I'm stopping for coffee because uh, the vet's going to be seeing Summer a little late because they are added another horse on to my appointment and they're doing them first, which, um, but yeah, I'm almost back. I'm just stopping to get a coffee because I figured I would because I got time now. Um, but yeah, this is Summer's third recheck. Um, potentially she could be cleared for riding lightly. Um, I don't even know what kind of riding that would look like probably like five minutes of walking But whatever I'll take what I can get today, but I'm really not optimistic I'm fairly certain there. She's gonna say it's still in hand work for another month, which is fine but um, yeah. So today is another recheck and we'll see I am really not optimistic though um, So yeah, I'll let you guys know and I'll get as much footage as I can you know the drill see you guys soon so we started out the vet appointment by doing a little lunging on both sides. We had to give Summer some drugs. She's just been like very hot because she hasn't been in the work. So we just give her a little drugs just to take the edge off so she'd be more calm and collected during this. So here's some just clips of us lunging both directions so the vet can look at her. She still remembers all her lunging stuff. So she's a perfect angel, of course. And so yes, here's just going both directions. of summer doing a trot up and down with the vet assistant and then um, without any flexions just to see how she's going normally and then um, here we're getting her, her flexions they, we flexed both fronts um, summer's got pretty weird feet on the front so and she's at the end of her trim cycle here so the vet flexed both feet and then had her trot up and down. So this is obviously her left front and then the next clip is going to be her right front. So that was pretty much the whole vet check. We didn't do an ultrasound today. ultrasounding summer's leg um it was a little inflamed because it's been warm lately and so the vet just said to leave her for another um month of just like little walks and stuff um but we're gonna also take down her wedge from a three degree wedge to a one and a half degree wedge um which i think is like the main reason the vet wanted me to keep hand walking her because it's gonna be a big change and she didn't want to be like up the exercise plus changing her angles on her feet it was just going to be too much so um we're giving her another month of just walking in hand and but the vet said she was doing really well um happy with what she saw said she was about like 90 percent better but we don't know how long the 10 percent is gonna last of course but uh, overall, she's doing really well. I was admittedly really sad. Um, I don't know. I got it in my head that she was just going to be, like, better in three months. And that I could, like, obviously not ride her, like, a lot. Like, not full work. But, like, you know, little walks and stuff. But, um, yeah. I was very sad. And I just, I just want her to be better, you know? Um, I just... I want her to be better because I want her to be able to do stuff she likes. She's very spooky and stuff right now because she just can't get the exercise she needs. And so it's just been really hard. She wants to run around. She wants to go do stuff. And she just hasn't been able to. And it's just been really hard on her. Um, it's been hard on me. It's been hard on her. It's been very stressful too, worrying about her. And I always worry a lot right before the vet visit. So... Um, yeah, so I got some trazodone for her for the 4th of July. She normally just does not care about fireworks at all, but because, um, she hasn't done anything in a while and she's spookier than normal and spooking and stuff that normally doesn't bother her, 
I just got some in case because I really don't want her running around like a maniac um, if the fireworks do upset her this year. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching my update and I hope y'all the best and I will keep you guys updated as things progress and continue. She should be getting her shoes done sometime in the next week and a half. Um, I'll maybe put, put in some photos of that if we can of her getting or some clips of her getting her shoes done and um, yeah overall she's doing well not exactly the news I was hoping for but she is doing well and I'm really happy that she is doing as well as she is and admittedly even though I like having the ultrasound to like know what's going on I do appreciate that I didn't have to pay for the ultrasound today because these vet bills every six weeks have been rough um her next visit is going to be August 10th that's when the vet's going to be out again so that's when we will know more so I will let you guys know what's up with her on August 10th and I will keep guys any updates between now and then so yeah Bye guys, thank you guys for following along. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to get more updates on how Sneeze is recovering.